difficult for y'all to figure out what I'm making tonight. <laughs> now I, for some odd reason, got this little wild hair for some guac, for the guac. The guacamole, the guac. Okay, we're making it. Um, we went, oh, I think I vlogged it. Yeah, we went to a Mex Mexican restaurant and I wanted the guac so bad, but we looked at the table next to us and I mean, it was like yay big for 12 bucks. I said, oh, I think we'll just skip straight to the fajita. Thank you. <laughs> so the guac has still been on my mind and I spent 23 bucks because I got these. These were the only avocados that were ripe, like ready to cut. All the other ones, I don't know if this was strategic with Whole Foods or what, but the, all the other ones were bright green. You're gonna have to wait like a few days to cut into them. And they were, they were the ones that were on sale. These are the large organic ones. So they were like two something a pop, which honestly, I've seen avocados at worse prices. So, and all I had, I mean, I've got tonight to make it. I'm work, 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 aside from tonight, like double, all day type work. So, figured I would, you know, this, this was my option to cut open to it now, tonight. Okay, that's why. But I'm gonna get more than, you know, a little, this amount, I'm gonna get a lot of guac and I can take it for lunch. And yeah, enough about, Enough walk talk. Let's get to chopping. avocados and why are they so mesmerizing this is a beautiful scene like oh, like this they're gorgeous they're just why are they so perfect they're literally I'm not even joking they're so pretty right right guac at home it's so good and you can have as much as you want not a little you know <laughs> it was cute but no thanks I'll take my huge bowl of guac and eat my chips my tostitos oh my gosh look at that this is from Giovanni's. We actually came here on vac we came to this restaurant on vacation. Been eating it ever since. Not often. So fun fact, we actually had this pizza not only on vacation with my family, but also the first night we were here. First night in this apartment, we got pizza and we didn't have any furniture, so we pretty much ate it like on the floor and on the the coffee table like the makeshift chairs and it was a good time. Ah, precious memories. literally 
was out of here by 7.30 in the morning. And I got home, it was at like 9.23. I looked at the clock and I had walked in the door. 9.23 p.m. So, it's a long day, yes. And I have a headache slightly. It's been kind of lingering all day. But you know what, I'm, I made it through. I'm happy, I'm grateful. It's time to take this makeup off. And I wanted to give you like a kind of a little update, a quick one on the new skincare that I have been using. Let's see, let's start with this, the cleanser, the Peach and Lily. This is the Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser and we love. Really like it, it's gentle on the skin. Melts the makeup right off. Three pumps will do ya. Well, at least that's what it'll do for me. Oh, you can see how tired I am. Oh, it's okay, Holly, we've made it to bed. Just glides right off, like everything. So easy, see, it just wipes off. Now I will <laughs> do the second cleanse. Let's go in with this face polisher. Face, skin is good and clean. I just feel like this product, how it measures out the amount that you need. I do it twice because I like a nice foamy cleanse. And I just don't think the first initial amount that it gives is enough, at least not for me. Tonight, I'm actually gonna do a mighty patch for the chin and I'm gonna do a nose one as well just because just let's get the gunk out you know I think doing it once a week for me it's good stuff not as bad as the other one the first one that I did look at all the little spots and that's all around here how funny ew it's <laughs> so gross but I'm glad it's out now the chin this one doesn't look as bad yeah this one doesn't look as bad at all just small little spots Okay, cool. Now I need my face to de-wrinkle before I, you know, go out in public. <laughs> wow. I guess this would be the downfall of like sleeping in them. Because it kind of does this and you have to let your skin reset. But these really, they pull off the gunk, dude. They, ooh. They clear us out. Okay, a few, a few more sips of the good old coffee. And then we, we got to go to the gym. Woohoo! Has anybody tried this? Let me know down below. It's the Repair Leave-In Conditioner for dry to damaged hair. And it is like a five, five or six dollar leave-in conditioner. So I was like, why not? I'll ask and see if anybody's had any good experiences with this. I've used their conditioner and shampoo but not this, so let me know. Okay, now let's put on a face. I have to go to work today. It's a gloomy day, but you know what? We're still gonna do a little bit of springtime makeup. I want a glowy, I want a glowy skin. I want the, the dew. We'll bring the sunshine. We'll be the sunshine. Face is clean, but what I like, what I'm gonna use next, I like because it's not thick like I just mentioned. I've been using these oils. Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant. Well, that's a serum. 
Uh, this is an oil. The Verse is an oil. The Estee Lauder Nighttime Repair, that's an oil. So like now that my skin is clean from the workout, I want to put something back into it. But I also know that I'm going to be, that one random piece, going to be putting on makeup. So you don't want anything too thick or it'll mess up your base. Uh, so this from Peach and Lily is the Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pad. So it's just to hydrate and kind of revamp your skin. And it's the sear like the the product on it it's thin so it's not going to cake up your makeup your skin's just going to absorb it so it's just like a little pad like this and we just wipe it right on it'll also pick up any other like dirt spots that you maybe missed get in the nooks and crannies and it just replenishes your skin and my skin will drink it up in no time. I've really been liking these. They come in handy. So many options. I don't even know like where to start. I definitely, I want to pull out this. And you know what? Let's pull out this too from Valentino. It's like a really beautiful underneath the foundation, um, like a glow highlighter, I guess you would say. And then this is a glow tinted moisturizer and it's really hydrating. So this drawer is more like actual foundations instead of lighter cut well wait a second now we've got the glow wish we can't forget about her let's pull her out too oh oh how could i ever forget about this classic let's pull this one out this is our lineup so far let's see what else i have hold on this drawer i've definitely got some classics the healthy glow from Too Faced. that's a good one SPF in there. We've got the Charlotte Silbury Flawless Filter. I've actually got, I cannot believe that. You know how expensive Charlotte Silbury is and this is what the packaging is doing? Not happy. I think that'll be plenty for like right now. You know what? Yeah, I don't want to get too overwhelmed and I've already pulled out a bunch. So let's just start with what we have. I'm going to start with this from Sephora, the pore filling primer that I love that I don't think they sell anymore. Very sorry about that. Because even though I want to be glowy and dewy, um, when you do a base like that and you have texture, large pores, whatever the case may be. I should have done this on my other camera. Maybe I'll switch. Sorry. But when you do the glowy, dewy glass skin look and you have what I just mentioned, then it can, it will emphasize what you don't want people looking at. So, I notice with me, my porous area is right there. So we're going to make sure that is filled. Put some here too. I'm telling you, this thing is like an eraser. It's unreal. Sorry, you can't really see it that well because this camera has like a soft focus effect on there. So like you can see, yeah, when I get closer, you can see. Making sure the pores are filled. It's very important for a nice glass skin look. Now, girl, we got options. I can't decide which one. This is a little too dark for me. We're gonna go ahead and X that out right now. This is too dark for me in in March. Maybe in the summer you'll see me wearing this one, but which one is this? Shade two, fair light. Maybe it's uh, sheer, I don't know. Then we've got the Hydromaniac. We've got the Glowish. We've got the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This one too, the smaller one. Shade three fair, 2.5 pale. How are we calling this pale? I'm not understanding, Charlotte. You know what? I may mix these two. Hydration station because it's still kind of chilly out and my skin's been dry because the winter and this because I just want to see. I just, I want to fall back in love with it. Let's do it. it smells good. Let me go ahead and. Okay, look at that glow. Just wanted to see what it was about. Though I don't really have that much time to be lollygagging around with makeup. Ah, brush hair or a cat hair. Can never tell. Okay, so she is really gorgeous. I don't remember like how well it, she lasted or anything, but on the other, I'm gonna use them both. Like I'm gonna mix both of them on my full face, but on this side, I wanna see what the Hydromaniac, on this side, I wanna see what the Hydromaniac looks like by itself. It 
So she's glowy too. I definitely feel like I'm getting more of a glow here. But we're gonna mix the two anyway. Okay, I need to stop playing around. Let me do the rest of my face. Oh, I'm. this is like getting me excited though for spring and summer and just the glow. Girl, I think I'm gonna let the skin stand out with this look as opposed to like doing a, a really big eye look. I might do a little shimmer. You know what, every time I say that I go all out. So I've, I'll be back. You know what y'all, I said I was done playing and um, I'm gonna throw the glowish on the forehead just, just to see what's up just to see but for real i gotta get ready for work for real don't you love how this cap is uh what is the holographic not holographic chrome no you know what it's pretty okay for real gotta get to it okay so i've still got to do my hair obviously but listen i bought this from patrick star yeah the fantasize one size and then i also have this mini from um estee lauder it's the sumptuous extreme okay are you listening this one the fantasize no i'm not a fan i don't like it not a huge fan of the formula and also you know what it may be the size because this is so small from lid to the actual wand is so you can't really and like the fact that this the barrel is thicker you can't really like I don't know I feel like it kind of gets in the way of itself so and it's a thicker formula so I my lashes tend to look better and the outcome tends to be better when it's a wetter formula and a slimmer brush with actual bristles and not the you know whole plastic wand some people it works better like that but just in my opinion I wouldn't get the full size of this. I'll probably get the full size of this. Y'all, look at this cute little jumpsuit that I found. Tag still on it. Very typical. Looks like it's a, a little revolve piece. It's cute. I haven't figured out the shoes yet, but you can't really see the detail. Okay, for one, we love pockets. Has pockets. The little one shoulder, so cute. The It's got like a drawstring here. And like the fabric, it's kind of a sweatery material. I'm gonna put a blazer on just for work purposes. I don't know about the, the one shoulder, but on a normal day, if I wasn't going to work, absolutely. I would definitely just kind of keep it cute and one shouldery, but today, for professional reasons, we're gonna put on a blazer and cute little shoes and uh, clock in. Okay, I'm going to quickly pack my lunch. I've got to brush my teeth and put lipstick on. I've got the rest of my outfit ready to rock. For lunch, I'm taking um, Tostitos, hint of lime, <laughs> delish. And I'm taking the guac that I made the other day and a spoon so I could stir up the guac. And I even took into account that my chip, if it breaks, you know, I'm bringing a spoon so I can just scoop and crunch, right? So this will be my little 30 minute food break. My little lunch pail, even though it's not a pail, even though it's not even a lunch bag, it's just easy to carry it. And uh, yeah, it gets the job done. <laughs> And we got some groceries. Let's do a quick haul to end this bad boy off. Giant thing of pretzels. This is from um, BJ's, so like the bulk buying store. Delicious, yummy grapes. If you know, you know. The last time I, I got grapes, they were scrumdiddlyumptious. I got some rotisserie chicken because as I mentioned before, I wanted to make Caesar salads to take with me to work. So I just got like standard romaine lettuce, a big bag of it. For multiple lunches, I got the rotisserie chicken so that way it's already cooked. And then in the morning I can just pull it off the bone, throw it on the salad. And we have some Parmesan cheese that I'll shave for the top of the salad. And obviously, what makes the Caesar a Caesar is the Caesar dressing. So I got that. I'm not doing croutons just cause like, I love croutons, I do. If you eat them, enjoy them for me, but just calorie wise, the Caesar dressing's already bad enough. So I'll, I'll skip on the croutons. 
some burger meat for tonight's dinner. Coffee, big, big tub of coffee. And then something that we constantly have been getting because it's inexpensive and like a quick dinner. Alfredo sauce and spaghetti sauce. So it's quick, we throw it together. We got a simple meal. It lasts us a while. And then we also got water and bubbly. So that's the haul for the groceries. It's dinner time and I'm tired, but I'm glad to be home. Thanks for watching The New New Yorker.